Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, knee issues and how to fix your knee if you've got a bit of a niggling knee or painful knee from running or whatever sport you do. Um, this goes out to you, Lieutenant Messina, good buddy of mine from, uh, from London and from South Africa, who asked me to uh, post something about uh, knee um, help. So, first of all, let's just start off with what issues usually you see with the knee. So, mostly when people walk or run, the tracking of the knee, the knee rolls in, so what you do is you get a lot of pain through the anterior portion of the knee, so anything through the front of the knee, there's a lot of tension there, that's just because the knee is rolling in, and it's, the alignment of the knee is not ideal. So usually what happens is when people run, the glute doesn't fire off, so the knee automatically rolls in, and then the iliotibial band overworks, it tries to do all the work for that nice big juicy glute that should be doing all the work. So there ends up being a lot of adhesions and scar tissue through the iliotibial band. So the best thing you can do for knees to start off with is to actually do foam roller work. So I'm sure a lot of you know what the old foam roller is. This is just a Joe standard basic foam roller and it'll do the trick. So I'm just going to demonstrate to what you need to do. Basically you lie down on the ground and you place the foam roller just above the kneecap there. And roll yourself down, putting pressure along the side of the leg. And you want to feel that coming all the way up, pressure, 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 and go all the way up into the hip. And then you do the front of the leg, and roll all the way up into the hip. Okay, so you can also use, I've got two hockey balls here, taped up, and you can also roll the hockey balls up the leg, through the front of the leg, get into the hip, get in into the TFL, all this tightness through the hip here, really good to release all of that tension over there. Okay, so that's really good for releasing the tension. Once you've got the tension released, then you want to start doing exercises that help you with the tracking of the leg. So we're going to do a simple one today, we'll just keep it simple. Move on to standing on your single leg, and what you want to do is you want to Hinge the bum back. You don't want to bend the knee forward because you see if the knee goes forward, all the pressure goes through the front of the knee. So watch how I hinge my bum back. See that? Bum back, drive up, that way. So if you look in front on here, what you do want to do is you're hinging back and pushing up. So what you're trying to make sure here is that the knee is tracking straight over the second toe. That's up and back. Back and up. So then you do to the side and then you come diagonally like that, making sure the knee is tracking and you can come back. So what you're really doing is you're just working laterally, diagonally and moving centrally. So ensuring that the knee is tracking in all these different uh, direction changes. That's a good place to start with the knee. As I say, you start with the foam roller and then work with these uh, leg drills and just make sure your knee is tracking nice and straight. And uh, as I say, that's the start of getting that knee nice and stable. Hope you enjoyed that.